The following is an invitation to all the men and boys out there. The Massachusetts White Ribbon Day campaign invites all of you to be part of the solution in ending violence against women. It's part of an international human rights effort spearheaded locally by the Jane Doe Inc., a coalition of 60 local programs against sexual and domestic violence. The idea is quite simple. Men and boys are asked to take a pledge and to wear a white ribbon and to add their voice in seeking solutions to end gender-based violence across all communities. Now to tell us more about this important commitment, we have invited one man who's taken the pledge, Massachusetts Physicians Organization, Senior Vice President or CFO and Finance and of Treasurer, James Heffernan. Welcome to Urban Update. Jim, thanks for coming Thank in. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me today. Well, Jim, talk to me first of all, how, how you got involved in uh, this, this Jane Doe's uh, the statewide Massachusetts White Ribbon Day campaign. Uh, talk to me about what the campaign is and how you got involved yeah. in it. Uh, I'd love to say that you know, I thought it up and I just got initiated right into it on my own volition, but I was asked. And, you know, a woman came, employee came to me years ago about getting involved with this issue and how to help a shelter that was, um, uh, you know, because it was secret, couldn't get its address out. And the whole initiative sort of brought me into it. And as I learned more about the issues and how pre prevalent it was, one in three women are often affected by this. Uh, as well as uh, men and uh, different relationships. And, and talk to me about the campaign in general. Yeah, so the campaign, we, um, campaign started years ago in Canada, and it was a response to uh, violence in, in Montreal. Um, the issue was it never caught on in the United States because it happened right around our Thanksgiving holiday. And so about 10 years ago, we said, let's try and start it and find a right time and find a, a right time to, to bring it forward. Mm -hmm. And it started slowly, but it's grown. We had 600 people at the State House last year. Wow. OK. Yeah. Now, why is it important, in your view, that uh, not only men talk about these issues, but make a commitment to finding a, a role they can play? Men are affected in ways they don't even know. They often don't realize the, the issues affecting them. But, you know, the obvious ones are their, you know, their mother, their wife, their, you know, their spouse, their friends, their children are involved. Um, but then the other issue is um, men get painted with this brush of violence when they don't speak up. You know, we're often we're bystanders. And that secret or that, that um, uh, quietness creates this, okay, we're, we quietly condone what's going on. And most men I talk to just are appalled by the, the situation. Now take me through the uh, some of the, the commitments that a white ribbon ambassador makes. Um, we've got a little graphic on the screen I think we can show. Uh, this is what the, the commitments of the white ribbon ambassadors. Yep. Wear the, uh, wear the white ribbon. I actually have collected enough over the years. I have one in almost every coat I have. Um, try to recruit others to wear the ribbon. It, and it's actually quite easy. Um, people see ribbons and they may ask you the first time, okay, what disease is this about? But it's a great way to sort of start the discussion with both men and women. Uh, and you help raise the awareness in those discussions. Um, and then there's a number of activities across the state. Schools have been very good at, at doing this, and the military has, um, has signed a, into it. Uh, a number of businesses are also very, very engaged in, in the programming. And so um, this year we're trying to expand it because it's the 10th anniversary to go beyond 600 and hit almost 1,000. Um, you get 1,000 ambassadors. Wow. Now, can you tell, tell our viewers about what it means for us to, quote, unquote, reimagine manhood? That's one of the themes of your campaign. Yeah, it's interesting. Men often feel that they have to react to a negative situation, often almost violently, and, uh, and sometimes um, that defensive posture um, doesn't help the situation. And I think the idea is how can a man be strong and, you know, create a dialogue and, and actually be part of the solution in that situation. And it really does help. I, I have a friend who's a, um, a PhD uh, in education who talks about the sheepdog approach. A man will be very defensive and protected, but at the same time a sheepdog is a very kind person and they go back and forth in that situation. We want that second part of that to really be. 
How can uh, individuals or organizations uh, get involved? Uh, they can go to the website for Jane Doe Inc. and, and sort of uh, get to the White Ribbon Day campaign or the Men's Initiative. Uh, it's very uh, easy to then sign up. It doesn't cost anything to sign up. And, uh, and then there's lots of educational materials that we have so that you can participate in the dialogue. Okay, it sounds uh, fabulous. Uh, the uh, Massachusetts White Ribbon Day campaign. Uh, James Heffernan, thanks for coming in. Thank Good luck in signing up all those uh, all those ambassadors. Your Great. goal is a thousand, right? At, at least a thousand. A thousand yes. by March. Okay. Good luck okay. with that. Thank you. Okay. When we return, a new Cuban-themed restaurant adds to the culinary diversity of Beantown. Details in just a few. We'll be right back.